Grace and You Cooking Show segment is brought to you by Grace Kennedy Belize Limited, bringing good taste to life. Welcome back. And uh, of course, we are getting ready to cook up a storm here in Grace and You Kitchen. I'm joined at this time by resident chef, Chef Duane. Good morning. Good morning, Belize. And this morning, we're partnering with Lee Mark Chang from Chung San, of course, with the uh, approaching Chinese New Year. Good morning and welcome. Welcome. Good morning, morning. All right. So, Chef Duane, tell me. What have you prepared for us today? What are you going to get? Uh, well, I went to? straight to the pros. Mm -hmm. I went straight to the pros. Um, since it's their time for mm -hmm. this uh, festive season, mm -hmm. there's nobody else I could have called who would uh, do justice to this mm -hmm. more than Mr. Chang himself. Okay? And right. him and his staff at Chang San, great team. Great right. team. So, Lee Mark, uh, I think a lot of Belizeans now are very much in tune with the Chinese New Year and around the time it happens. So, when is the actual date this year? Uh, the actual date is February uh, 8. Uh, it's on a Monday. Mm -hmm. So, we move it back one day on a Sunday where everybody has time to come out. It's usually a lunch uh, banquet style dinner, mm -hmm. um, lunch, luncheon, and um, it's a nine course meal this year. Um, $35 with, uh, I think it's like roughly around, roughly around 150 to almost 200 raffles at the end. So we have like one in three, one in four people that take some prize every year, including tickets, cash, you name it. There's a lot of there stuff. There are always fantastic prizes. In fact, you usually see people pouring out of Princess with anything you can think of in their hands. Boxes of stuff. Yes, Boxes that's of stuff. right. Boxes of stuff. A lot of stuff every year. And the chairman has done a great job every year. Um, his name is Edmund Kwan. Mm -hmm. And... Um, he, he has been there for, I think it was like five, going to his sixth year. Mm -hmm. And uh, he has done an excellent job preparing, um, gathering the community together, bridging the gap between the Belizean and the Chinese. Mm -hmm. you know, so we, we, we understand each other's culture, yeah. stuff like that. <clears throat> nice. So let's talk about what the recipe uh, you're going to show us today. Okay, today um, we're cooking salt and pepper fish and salt and pepper jumbo shrimp. Mm -hmm. uh, these are one of the um, hot sellers that we have in Chon San um, for quite a uh, two, about two years now. Mm -hmm. um, so I said, you know, take the New Year's time to, 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 to give away my recipe. And so a lot of people could, maybe if they're not, if they're not close to Chon San or they're in the districts, they could still try it at right. home and, and get a taste of Chon San, stuff like that. Or if they want to sample something new off the menu. Mm -hmm. or that also. All right, well, let's get into some cooking. Okay. Here we have our nice uh, deep water red snapper. Ooh. We usually like to use deep water snapper or the hogfish. Mm -hmm. And uh, we tend to have sometimes um, the live goliath bloopers and the, or the live bloopers in the tank. So whatever is fresh, we always try to recommend it. And we don't buy too much. We usually buy maybe five or six of the fishes and mm -hmm. while supplies last. Okay. So we could keep it fresh at all time. Now one of the things we know, and uh, you call it Chinese style, um, is that it's always very fresh and very simplistic in its seasoning, right? Well, Chinese cooking on a whole is fresh. Mm -hmm. Everything has to be, be, be very fresh in terms of um, the eating. Mm -hmm. um, and, that's, uh, and that's the Cantonese style of cooking. Uh, everything has to be fresh. The vegetables, the meat. Um, pretty much they, they don't see the freezer at yeah. all. Yeah, and that is the, the, the best part. And while you're cooking it, uh, especially when it comes to the, 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 um, the fishes, the, the meat is actually still moving. And that is the way the, uh, we like it. Um, because you, you, you taste it. Moving the, until it gets on the plate. Yes. <laughs> in certain, certain dishes, it's still moving when it's on the plate. Right. <laughs> and then the seasoning is really, really, like you call this the salt and pepper. Yes. Uh, and it's, it's basically just yeah. salt and pepper. So you get the flavor of the fresh product. Yes, the flavor of the fresh pork. Nice. And, and the reason why we're filleting the fish is because a lot of customers, before that, when we used to do it, we used to do it whole. Uh -huh. And when we do it whole, you know, a lot of customers don't like to deal with the bones and the shells and stuff. Mm -hmm. stuff. So we get creative in terms of um, adhering to the customer's request and, and stuff like that. So this fish will actually have the fillet on one side and will also have the meat on one side, uh, the bones with the meat on one side. So mm -hmm. you actually don't have to worry about getting a, uh, on a bone accidentally. Yeah. Pro at filleting that fish. I do it quite a number of times. <laughs> I, I can only I, imagine. I, I could do it quite a number of times. You know, Lee Mark, it's interesting because you actually have quite an extensive menu at um, Chongsan. Yes. And we know, of course, the fried chicken is your top seller. 
But how much do you find people venturing into uh, trying some of the Chinese style dishes? We have a lot of customers uh, who try our dishes. Uh -huh. Fried chicken is, is, is actually just for us is something that, that, that um, we do try. We, we, I wouldn't call it a side dish, mm -hmm. but but it's it's is a type of restaurant that caters to everybody and anybody. Mm -hmm. um, you can have someone that come, comes here with have a burger, a fries, fried chicken, chow mein. Or you can have someone that that, that, that eating one of these fishes on the table, mm -hmm. the, the lobster, oxtail. the oxtail. Yeah, that, that's oh, you favorite. do have oxtail. Uh, you yes. gotta get, guys, you gotta get down there and do the oxtail. Uh huh. My favorite, but my favorite one I, we do is the the uh, Cantonese fried chow mein. Mm. Out of this world. It is so excellent. Okay, let's get to the marinade. We'll deal with the fish first. It takes a little while longer. Okay. And if you notice, we have the ribs right here. Yeah. We have the bone, the head, and the filly, actual filly on this side right here. Check that out. The fish is looking at you. <laughs> All right. Let's count. Okay. Kitchen skills. Seasoning style. That time. <laughs> a little salt. A little bit of sugar. Why sugar? Um, usually we put it there because it balances, it, it doesn't overpower the salt and mm -hmm. so we, in, in most of our dishes and a lot of people don't realize the sugar is, is to kind of tone it down a little bit more in terms of the, mm -hmm. the, the flavoring that we have. So we use a lot of sugar in, in our dishes, especially for the steamed fish that we used uh, the last time I was here. Uh -huh. We use a lot of sh sugar on it because the soy sauce tends to be a little bit more salty yeah. so it kind of tames, tame it tame, tames it down a little bit. Here's a little ginger powder. Five spice powder. Mm -hmm. And also Chinese five spice, right? Yes. Excellent. We also need some garlic right here. Just waiting for the noise water. <laughs> That's uh the Chinese they have very sound effects. They have sound Go, effects yes. in the kitchen? <laughs> yes, a lot. There's a lot, a lot of sound effects. You'll be here chopping and slicing and hacking away at uh and now we use egg. So you said this is going to be a marinade. You're going to keep this there for a while? Um, yes, that's why we're doing the fish first because it tends to take a little while more to soak in the flavor. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the most important ingredient I forgot to put in. Mm -hmm. The pepper. Oh. The pepper. The man and the pepper. And the of boss. course, this is a... Uh, Courtesy of Grace Kennedy, mm -hmm. the pepper people. And however, however spicy you want it, is how, how much pepper you put in. So the ginger will add a little spice to it. Yeah. Mm. As usual, Mara's salvating over here in the back. I know, and well, I mean, I love pepper, so. There you go. Sorry, William. William can't try this dish. No, no. Okay, we'll leave that there for a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. Why egg though? <clears throat> Because the egg is with the batter, okay. and that's why we have we tend to like to have a constant heat mm -hmm. because we like we, we don't want the, the our meats to soak up the oil. Okay. So we, what we do is we batter it, coat so we it. coat it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so when it's in the fire, by the time you put it in the fire, the outside layer is actually get gets crispy quickly. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we have our shrimp. We, we, I'm going to do it two styles, two different ways. We're going to do it. We have one that's the veins, butterfly shrimp. And we have one that, that will be the entire shell. A lot okay. of customers like likes the shell fried crispy. That's right. So we always give the option if they want the shell or if they, they, don't, they don't want the shell. That's right. With the shirts or without the shirts. <laughs> <laughs> so going back to the Chinese New Year, uh, what year is uh, going to be celebrated? <laughs> This year is the monkey. <clears throat> um, I guess you, have, you say people are born in the monkey year. They tend to be very smart, intelligent, and a little bit naughty. <laughs> a little bit naughty and. Um, <clears throat> So the Chinese zodiac is 12, 12, zo uh, 12 signs every year okay. and um, <clears throat> usually goes by the characteristics of the person they're, they're born. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much um, <clears throat> like the, um, the, the zodiac for the, for that we use over this side in the world that we read the books and stuff like that. They have it, but their one are much more detailed. Okay. They go with the, pretty much the exact time, how the signs are uh, aligned. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's very important. That's one, two, three. Do half, half and half, yeah. half and a half. <clears throat> so we'll do the half butterfly first. So the year of the monkey, and I think if I, if we remember right, it is concluding the year of the ram. Right. right. I, I stand to be correct, so that my memory isn't always the best. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm not so too sure. So what year are you? <clears throat> I'm the year of the rats. Oh, you are. Yes. And how seriously do you, I mean, because that's always one of the questions I have. It's like horoscopes, you know, some mm -hmm. people really subscribe so, mm -hmm. to it and others are, you know. 
Um, so what is it like for you guys? Um, the horoscopes, my mom reads my horoscope every year. Okay. So the, I think it's more more of the, um, the, the, the older school generation type of yeah. the keep, keeping up the culture and stuff like that. So but she warns you for the year you have ahead. Yes, she warns me, oh, you, you can't travel too much this year. <clears throat> um, you, you try not to go into the, the, the hospitals, mm -hmm. um, not to invest. Um, all type of stuff she, she always um, forewarns me of every year in terms of what I should do and what I shouldn't do and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Okay, this is the one here with the shell now. Okay. And we're going to uh, butterfly it with the shell on. Shell on. You mean, can you light up that stove one time a little bit for me, please? Okay, start to get it warm. Mm -hmm. In, in the, your cooking, your temperature control, your heat control is very um, essential. Very have to be up to par. Yes, because you use wok, right? <clears throat> yes, we use wok and fryers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, it's based on the, on, the, on the experience of the cook mm -hmm. in, in, in order to control the, the, the fire. Mm -hmm. If we before uh, a couple some, a couple years ago before we, we we moved on to fryers, we used to do um, strictly wok frying. And when you do wok frying, you really have to have a lot of experience in terms of the temperature control of, mm -hmm. of, that, um, of that oil. Mm -hmm. Too hot and you burn. Too cold and you soak up all the oil. All the oil. All the oil. Yeah. And that, that's, not, that, that's not very nice when you soak up all the oil. Especially since like what we do, we cook with all vegetable oil mm -hmm. in John San. Even your fried chicken, everything is cooked mm -hmm. with vegetable oil to be a little bit more health conscious. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> and everything is cooked to order, okay. fresh. Okay, mm -hmm. well, the, the fish is ready, so we'll, let's get started with the fish first. Okay. So what is the first step? You're going to the oil? Yes, we're going to the oil. We'll All put right. this aside. And then I'll get my I'll get Go my ahead. batter over this side. Okay, let's see how we get a little space Hold over this. For you. Okay, thank you very much, Dwayne. And here's, here's the cornstarch. There it is. So everything is going to be battered and fried? Yes. Okay. Light batter. <clears throat> The mouth of the fish is spitting out the oil, isn't it? Oh, believe me, it happens all the it's time. It's still alive. <laughs> still jumping. Let me move him down. Ooh. Yeah, now he he came down a little bit. Okay. And then usually we fry the head and, and the, the, the ribs of the fish first. Okay. So because these are the thicker parts. And if you notice, I just took off the, 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 the oil because it's, it's really a little bit too hot. Yeah. Again, it goes back to what you said, the right. temperature control, control is so important. Mm -hmm. So then we'll leave that for a couple of minutes. That'll take a couple of minutes to fry. Clot, okay. yeah. And it won't take very long. I mean, no, 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 yeah. no. It doesn't take very long. It doesn't take, it doesn't take very long at all. Mm -hmm. If you notice, it's there already. Okay. So now we know every time the Chinese New Year comes around, the event uh, that takes place on Sunday. You said that it's actually doing so well that you guys are almost sold out. Well, right now, we're roughly about 60% sold already. Yeah. Um, and a lot, a lot of last minute. Yeah. Um, first come, first serve. Yeah. And, and it, it, a lot of people beg just to add on another table, but we have a set CD that the maximum ca capacity yeah. is like, uh, I think it's 68 tables for Princess. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest venue. If we could find a t place that could probably hold uh, 100 tables, we would take it. Yeah. Well, every year, a lot of um, Chinese, mm -hmm. the Chinese bring their friends, the Belizean friends, Spanish friends, all type of people you, you meet in that place mm -hmm. right there, including um, representatives from um, a lot of head of the department that comes out also to, so they could intermingle with us and, and yeah. to, to see how, how, how we eat, uh, cultural sharing. Yeah. We also have a lot of entertainment uh, in terms of local entertainment, so we could give the entertainment to the, to the, the Chinese. Uh, we have sometimes we have the California dancers, we have the uh, karate school that goes to do demonstration. Mm -hmm. I think we have um, <coughs> some music groups. 
uh, you see what else? It's a real multicultural event. It's a multicultural event. It's not only based on Chinese. We also yeah. try to mix it up for everybody to make sure that um, so we, we all learn something every year. Yeah. I think this year also, um, I spoke with the chairman a, a couple a couple weeks ago. I think he is doing uh, in, in order to, 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 to we do a street parade every year, mm -hmm. and instead of doing all Chinese, I think they're mixing up with some local Belizeans also. I think from the tumblers group. Okay. Ah. And, um, they, they, so they they are on training right now, so they will be going along with them, and hopefully that we could encourage it that every year we have the local Belizeans and Chinese. It usually happens on the Friday. No, the Monday. The Monday. No, we usually do it on the Saturday. Oh, on the Saturday. We usually yeah. do it on the Saturday because the traffic is a little bit less. Uh, on the streets because uh, we tend to block up the streets a lot with, with all the, quite a with all the fireworks and yeah. yes, fireworks yes, yes. And we usually have a, we usually go to the to the um, businesses and um, clean out clean out house we call clean out house um, burst the firecracker burst the dynamics and um, a lot of kids all of the neighbors just come around gather around for the <laughs> 10 minute 15 minute show and then we move to the other one and a lot of kids tend to just get on the bicycles and follow, follow yeah. us the entire route the entire route well it's very us. entertaining but it is, I mean, the tradition itself is rooted in uh, casting out evil spirits. Evil spirits. Evil, yes, evil spirits, uh, bringing good luck, you know. That's my car, Clean House. Yeah. Clean, Clean house. house, yes. And uh, it's only selected businesses? No, everybody can partake. You have an option not to, to, to partake. Um, but most, majority of the business, bigger businesses is the one who usually partake in, in, in the event. Uh -huh. And. Um, we have a number that uh, that, that, that we, we we give uh, we for all members of the community that they, they can come if they, if they would like. Okay. And they they can free call us and then we, we, we can go and do the show. Okay. At, at their at their um, premises. Okay. You know what? I think we'll leave out the the the, 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 the tail this time. Yes. Fine. So we'll do some other pieces and then we have to get into the shrimp as yes. well. Yes. Now uh, the key part to uh, chasing out the evil spirits is the dragon. Yes, the dra it's, a, it's, the it's, a, it's a lion. Uh, it's a lion and the dragon. Uh -huh. okay. It's a lion and a dragon. But the dragon is a little bit too big. So what we do is we do the lion, the lion uh, to, to go around, and uh, in, in, at the function we actually bring out the dragon. The dragon is roughly about forty feet long. It takes about ten man, to, ten person to mm -hmm. manhandle. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's a, that's a lot right there. And And it's pieces. really Hiding just here. a sight to see when you see that dragon moving around. Oh, yes. yes. As it, it, a child, I was yes. petrified mm -hmm. of the dragon. <laughs> okay, now there we have the fish going. So these don't, it's not breading, it's just cornstarch that you have on yes, it. Yes, yes. It's just a, <coughs> just a batter. It's a light yeah. batter, very light, light batter. Very light batter. If you notice, you look at it, see there's a light batter, you can actually still you see the skin. You can still see the skin in it, yeah. yeah. Yes. We have some of my cameramen salivating already. <laughs> and yeah, that's why. We just had somebody uh, call in to ask about the batter itself. So it's just cornstarch, corn, nothing corn. else. Just cornstarch, don't yeah. cut it. No secret sauce. No secret no, 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 no. that no we mixed sales. out. It is literally just cornstarch that he put on it. And then uh, as we saw with the marinade, it was your salt, pepper, spices. Yes, the, the five star and the ginger powder and pepper. Ginger mm -hmm. and, and then the egg to the egg to, to just to hold the batter together. Yeah, as your binder. If you notice that the chicken sounds part, like you have some people ready to try at home mm -hmm. already. Good. No, no, Any no. Any tricks no. with knowing the right heat? Because you spoke that that's that's so important. How yes. do you know? Yes. For amateur cooks at home. Be careful. Number one, be very, very, very careful. Why? Because overheated oil can catch fire. Mm -hmm. Easy. Easy, 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 easy. Overheated oil. Um, I think when we just put, put in the, the fish in, you notice it got a little bit too hot. So we have to take off the fire and put in another couple pieces to quickly lower the temperature. Okay. And after the temperature has stabilized, then we light about the fire. Yeah. But in today's, most of today's restaurant, we don't need to worry about overheating because we have temperature control. control. Yeah. But back in, when I first started, it was strictly the walk fire. So you had to gain that experience in order to... to, yeah. to um, and you to test a lot with your hand, just yes. the temperature above the heat. Do yes. you, you have to get it before it starts to smoke? Is that... Um, no, because the oil, hot oil, really doesn't smoke. Mm -hmm. right. it, 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 you could only feel feel the temperature on hand, and that that is based on experience mm -hmm. that, that you knew it. Okay. But once we have the, 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 the fires that has a preset temperature, then you don't even need to worry. Just close your eyes and put it in. Okay. And just wait for the, the correct amount of time for it to to, to, come out. to come out. Or you could do a little test with a piece of vegetable. Drop it in. If it automatically, it should come right up. Mm. 
That's yes. how. That's what you want. You don't want it to sit on the bottom. Okay. Because then you you get that uh, soggy feel. Soggy feel. So you want it to drop it in piece of something, piece of leaf or something. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And it should pop right up. Let's go with, 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 with a shrimp time now. Mm -hmm. All right. So there you have it. But of course, uh, just be careful. <laughs> right. If you notice, we put in all the ones with the shell first. Mm -hmm. Because the, they, they take longer to cook. They, they, they don't not only take longer to cook. Customers like the cr the crispy shell. Okay. So they would take the crispy shell and they would actually eat it. Also, it's edible because it tastes uh, like like dried uh, seafood chicharrón. Ah. <laughs> like the shrimp chips, right? Yes. <laughs> and now we have the, the have the one with with the spice to it. The, the, without the shell. Mm -hmm. You also have your uh, sushi chef back at Chongsan, don't you? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And um, sometimes we have it and sometimes we don't. Uh, usually when the chef goes on holiday, mm -hmm. um, then, then we, we, we don't make it. Okay. Unless he, he, he's there, then we make it. So just call and check? Just, no, right now we're, we're, we're pretty much every day. Right okay. now we're pretty much every day. And the, the one thing about us at Chongsan, if we cannot do it right, we won't do it. Right. Okay. If we can't do it right, we won't do it. And usually I, I could do the backup, but most of the time I'm not in a restaurant, so it, it, it's, it's kind of hard. So I have, a, I have a, always given strict instructions that if, if, if you can't do it right, yeah. don't, do it. Don't, don't go there. Don't, don't go there. Okay, we can take it off, we can take it off because yes. it's almost ready. Mm. If you notice, it's, color, it's coloring already. Yeah. And the little red, the little red spots of meat on it is actually the, the actual pepper that's, that stays on yeah. the, the batter itself. This is available on your menu. Yes, this is available on the menu at all times. All you need to do is check with the waiter. Usually, the other customers like to ask the waiter, you know, what do you have fresh? Because they know already um, we always have certain things that are not on the menu, and whatever we have, uh, we could find. And they, they would they would say, you know, okay, we'll try this one, we'll try that one, and we, we have. We have always had good customer satisfaction in the restaurant in terms of whatever they order and yeah. stuff like that. Usually, what, uh, sorry, what would ahead. you like to see Belizeans try more uh, from your menu? We have a lot of big groups that come to the restaurant sometimes, and um, a lot of um, our Belizean customers they don't know what we do. We provide a twenty-five dollars a head um, banquet-style buffet on the table. Mm. It's pretty much all you can eat, five course. 99% uh, of the stuff on the menu, with mm -hmm. the exception of duck and a couple of others, other items that are much more expensive. Yeah. And um, they, they can read it all. 25 per person. 25 How big person. does the group have to be? Uh, usually we start from 8 to 10. Because mm -hmm. 10 is usually one, one of the banquet style tables. Okay. And so they, 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 all the customers come, they are very happy. Oh, that's <coughs> great to know. So people can go in and yes. order the banquet style. Yes, and you could get a mixture of like a sweet and sour pork, um, pepper steak, crispy mm -hmm. garlic chicken. A lobster with broccoli and a vegetarian, like vegetable top soy, all the stir fried assorted. So we usually keep it there. If you want all seafood, we have no problem. All meats, no problem. Very flexible. So it sounds like you can go in and ask for anything you want. You're the boss. The customer <laughs> is the boss. That's right. The customer is the boss. Okay, let's go ahead and let's prepare this this sauce right here right now. It's the the this is a stir fried onion with uh, with uh, scallions and garlic. Mm. Light up the stove one time. All right, so we have our fish pieces or shrimps with the shell and without the shell, and then we have the pieces with the bone. These are done. Right. And then we have our scallions. So this is going to be served along with the fish and the shrimp? Yes. This, is, this gives the shrimp much more flavor. And we have, you'll have a couple of habaneros inside. So it's definitely going to be a spicy dish. And garlic. A little towel over okay, here, get a little bit cleaned mm -hmm. up. Right if you notice that the, 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 the stir fry pan is nice and hot, mm -hmm. add a little butter. Mm -hmm. Throw it a little bit. 
too much smoke. Believe me, this is not even temperature hot. The butter just disappeared. In a restaurant, our 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 flames are actually torch flames. Ah. So it it, it it helps seal in the flavor and then uh -huh. stuff like that. Let me lower this a little bit and let me get the, get the, the, the fish set up. Chef, the wing, you want to help me out? Yes, definitely. What do you need? Okay, buddy? We, we'll do the shrimp first on this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cheers. So what we do is we're gonna put it half moon, Hold. half moon uh, shell, and half moon on shells. Perfect. And let me get this out of the way for you right now. All right. It's always a great thing when the men take control in the kitchen, right? <laughs> we got you covered. <laughs> In the meantime, though, we do have a couple of promotions to talk about. So Grace, of course, has a very big day happening today. Tell today, me about it. Today, today, today. Yeah. Uh, the fire sale. Aha. Uh -huh. Right? Everything smoking hot. Smoking hot deals. It has deals. to go very cheap. We, we talk about the condensed milk, a dollar, you know, uh, 150, you know, um, very cheap, right? Mm -hmm. And that's happening at the warehouse okay. on two and a half. Okay. And um, that starts from... Uh, 10, it goes yeah. 10 until 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. All right. So people can come and get just about, just all, about all the great products. At, at very uh, affordable prices. Right, fire sale price, right? Mm -hmm. And it's and, a um, one day sale only, right. so you have to get it, get there today. Right, they say it's, it was, you know, they do it, they last, they went so good mm -hmm. that uh, people, they start doing it every, yeah. almost every end of, every month. Okay. Let me get some spill over here. Okay. okay. And um, that's happening down there at Grace. So that's okay. happening in Belize City yeah. at the Grace Warehouse. Starts at 10 o'clock till 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. And then there's a, the Valentine's coming up. Yeah. There's a great promotion. You buy... Um, you have one here. Yes. Um, the, the wine. Yes. Okay. It's heavier than I thought, right? Let's check this out, Steve. You purchase any three... Uh, there's the, the ketchup, the barbecue sauce, the the uh, Grace coffee. You mm -hmm. purchase any three, and you could win. Uh, win that. This Vina Maipo. I hope mm. I said it right. Vina Maipo. Vina yes. Maipo. And uh, this package comes with. It's a raffle it's actually. A, right. Mm -hmm. So you have to submit Enter, your label. Right to get in. Mm -hmm. nice. And that's what you win. And then there's the, the milk. Uh huh. I love you pro promo. Mm hmm. All right. Pull out your labels. Drop it in into any um, place where Grace has their box. They're always there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the milk promotion is still ongoing. Of course, you have to put the name, the phone, address, mm -hmm. where you bought right. uh, your milk, and the name of your love. And this is a great promotion that uh, not mm -hmm. only do you win, but you also put somebody else's name, name. Mm -hmm. to, win to win with, with you as well. Right. Mm -hmm. So get in there. Okay. Yeah. Let's okay. go ahead. Let's go over. Let's We're finalizing up. You notice we have our scallions. A garlic, onions, habanero. Mm -hmm. That's it. A spoon of butter. Has to be hot. Oh, that's gonna be delicious. Mm -hmm. And if you would like a little bit more pepper, bring it on. The liquid stuff, liquid juice. <laughs> My poor, poor friend William would have passed out yeah. already. Had so much pepper. So you just saute it. Uh -huh. Let's bring out the onion flavor, the habanero the flavor, scallion, the scallion yeah. flavor. Okay, this is the same thing that we had with the salt, uh, the five spice, the ginger, uh -huh. and the sugar. This okay. is just a little mixture of it. We pre-made it, made it, and you just take a little bit and mix it up inside. So what's, what's uh, in the five spice that you use? The five spice is uh, pre-made, it's packaged. You can buy the uh, majority of the stores in, okay. in, in Belize. Um, it has a couple of the, um, the, the, the actually the five most famous spices in in there and it's grounded. Okay. So it's very easy to use right. and stuff like that. So it takes all the guessing out when you want to put your spices. Right. There's a Benjamin has a liquid thing to that with the nutmeg, the cinnamon, the anise. The allspice. The allspice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a liquid. Uh, liquid is my favorite. Favorite. Right. Okay. And then right now we're pretty much good right now. Just and then we just plate plate it Ooh. and then we're good to go. Let's put it down. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be there. And you put that right on right top. Right on top. Of it. Right on top of it. the butter and, and the little sauce and so everything. Good. And there we go. This is your salt and pepper jumbo shrimp and salt and pepper whole fish. Excellent.
And you guys can try it if you like. Definitely. Oh, I definitely yeah. will. In fact, William, you came up for some pepper? Is that what <laughs> you wanted? The pepper. It's so hot, the smoke William. burns my head, <laughs> which means it's perfect for William. <laughs> And you? just lastly, of course, let's talk about where people can get their tickets for the uh, celebration next Sunday. It is out of way. Yeah? Where do people get tickets? We oh, um, they're, they're, they're available at Tonsa. Uh -huh. And they're available at tickets also Quan's Trading Center uh, on Orange Street. Mm -hmm. And those are the only two places that you could buy the tickets uh, every year, just to keep make sure that we have all our... And as you pointed out, it is, of course... Uh, Almost over half the tickets are gone, so people need to get in there and get their tickets as quickly yes, as possible. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, gentlemen, I want to thank you for joining me this morning. Uh, of course, uh, this is definitely something I think people easy enough for people to try right. at home. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. something different that they haven't done before, mm -hmm. and <laughs> and we're gonna get into some sampling in just a bit. Remember that uh, Grace has their fire sale today. There are the Valentine's promotions going with the uh, wine that they're raffling and also the uh, milk products um, that you can give away some, you can get win some cash. Win some cash. Mm -hmm. And uh, the celebration takes place next week Sunday at the Princess for the Chinese New Year. You can get your tickets and uh, have some great food and win some great prizes. I'm going to go ahead and take a break. When we come back, it'll be to uh, chat with the new sweet pain after this. Grace and You Cooking Show segment was brought to you by Grace Kennedy Belize Limited, bringing good taste to life. Wow! Ahora disfruto del nuevo empaque para mi horneado rápido y fácil. Ahora por solo 25 centavos. Pruebe Grace Baking Powder en un nuevo inconvenientemente sobrecito de 10 gramos. Grace Baking Powder es el producto ideal para preparar panqueques, waffles, fry jacks, tortillas de harina y todo tipo de repostería. Grace Baking Powder, por su conveniente empaque y facilidad para guardar, siempre mantendrá la frescura y calidad que usted necesita. Grace Baking Powder, disponible en tu supermercado favorito por solo 25 centavos. Grace Baking Powder, otro producto de calidad distribuido por Grace Kennedy Belize. Para recetas, ir a Grace Recetas.